Just out of curiosity, what is it about the Republican Party that makes it Americanier than the rest of us? We're the party and ideology of the Constitution. Every decision that I make starts with asking the questions, is this constitutional? I believe in this document, I carry it with me next to my heart because I refer to it daily. As we all know, the Constitution starts with the three most important words outside the Bible. We the people. The power of we the people. We the people. The Constitution. We believe in it. They do not. Yes, it's an article of faith that Republicans love the Constitution. They give speeches in front of the, the Constitution. They cover their buses in the Constitution. They dress up like the people who wrote the Constitution. Do you, communists? With your unconstitutioned buses? And zero cornered hats? That's why these patriots love Donald Trump, for he alone will restore the rule of law in our constitutional republic. Trump's lawyer claimed the president has a legal license to murder his American political rival. I don't see anything in here about assassinating your political rivals. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. Here it is, hold on. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, it says the president must faithfully execute. Well, I think we're done here. Oh. I want to be a nitpicker, but I do not remember the assassination episode of Schoolhouse Rock. <laughs> Under the Constitution, wouldn't you get in some trouble for that? I feel that as a president, you have to have immunity. Very simple. Yes, it is the bedrock American constitutional principle. The president must be a of the law, out of reach of the law. Look, forget the Constitution. Accountability to the law of the land is basic Magna Carta shit. Maybe they like Trump because he's more of a Bill of Rights guy. President Trump attacking the First Amendment and freedom of the press. You take the writer and or the publisher of the paper, a certain paper that you know, and you say, who is the leaker? National security. And they say, we're not going to tell you. They say, it's okay, you're going to jail. And when this person realizes that he is going to be the bride of another prisoner, very sure. I believe it was Thomas Jefferson who once said, <laughs> our liberty depends on the freedom of the press. Though obviously, as with any right, there is some wiggle room for non-consensual ass f don't, don't blame me, that's Jefferson. He said that. Thomas Jefferson. Look it up. Hold on, let me get. But that's the press. The press are the enemy of the people. How does Trump feel about freedom of assembly? He says, can't you just shoot them? Just shoot them in the legs or something. And he's suggesting that that's what we should do, that we should bring in the troops and shoot the protesters. The commander in chief was suggesting that the US military shoot protesters. Yes, in the straits American of our protesters. nation's capital. That's right. Well, they'd still be free to assemble, just the assembly would be more of a pile. That's all. <laughs> but that's just hearsay from Trump's secretary of defense at the time. Look. Um, <laughs> How about the Fifth Amendment, due process? Very simply, if you rob a store, you can fully expect to be shot as you are leaving that store. What the f are we doing? You know, I'm pretty sure that shooting a guy on suspicion of stealing a pair of khakis violates not only the Constitution, but the Ten Commandments and the Gap Employee Handbook. <laughs> We've had our fun dancing around the former president's rather eccentric interpretations of our country's founding document. May I offer you something more explicit? I only want to be a dictator for one day. Oh! Ew! Ew! What the fuck? Just so you know, that is how it starts. 
I'm not saying anybody has to do the arm salute. Let's just start with a few people doing the arm salute, and we'll see if the arm salute catches on. <laughs> Ignoring the Bill of Rights, tearing up the Constitution, pining for a brief stint as a dictator, well, that settles it. When the good, patriotic, Constitution-loving, real Americans hear Trump's disrespect and disdain for our sacred constitutional principles, they will be outraged. I'd rather have Donald Trump as a dictator for four years. Absolutely. This country needs a dictator. I hate to say that, but it's the truth. He could stand on the front steps of the White House and, and commit murder, and I'm with him. If he says it, then I'll go with it. And if he wants to be a dictator, then so be it. This is it. The Thomas Nast cartoon. Patriots festooned in American flags, co-signing dictatorship. Remember we the people? You know there's more words after that, right? <laughs> Smaller font, still binding. Look, if you want to love Trump, love him. Go to the rallies, buy the sneakers. You want to give him absolute power? You want him to be the leader Uberalis? You want him to have the right of kings? You do you. But stop framing it as patriotism. Because the one thing you cannot say is that Donald Trump is following the tradition of the founders. He is advocating for complete and total presidential immunity. His words, not mine. That is monarchy shit. And it's your right to support it. But just do me a favor for historical accuracy. Next time you want to dress up at the rallies, wear the right f***ing colored coats. <laughs> That's what you are. And I just want to tell you this. No words. I have the best words. I have the best. But there's no better word than stupid. Hey, take a look at this video. I think you'll like it.